hello viewers welcome to my channel knowledge unlimited in this video i am going to explain a beautiful analog question which was asked in gate 2020 ec paper so if you look at the question it is given that the components in the circuit shown below are ideal if the op amp is in positive feedback this is the point that is to be noted and the input voltage vi is a sine wave of amplitude 1 volt you can look here this is the input voltage signal then the output voltage v not is the question is what will be the value of v not and the options were given like this an inverted sine wave of 1 voltage amplitude a non inverted sine wave of 2 volts amplitude a constant of either plus or minus 5 volts a square wave of 5 volts amplitude now this is this was the question given in gate 2020 ec now you comment your answer in the comment section you pause the video for a while you try this on your own and watch the video for solution now this can be done using two different methods two different methods one is just by looking at the circuit itself with a common inference you can answer this question and other is a nominal procedure now let me go with inference first as this is a positive feedback circuit positive feedback circuit the output will be assumed initially as plus or minus v sat now for time being let me let me assume that as v not equal to plus v sat that is plus 5 volts now i have taken plus 5 volts here and it is already given that 0 volts at inverting terminal now the input signal is a sinusoidal signal varying between minus 1 to plus 1 volts minus 1 to plus 1 now let me assume here it is 0 volts 0 volts for time being now you can look here this is a divider circuit voltage divider circuit so the potential here will be 2.5 volts 2.5 volts now you get back to the original point the input is varying from plus 1 to minus 1 volts right it can be positive extreme plus 1 or negative extreme minus 1 the current direction will won't vary it will be in the same direction so the point is if the output is initially in plus v sat or plus 5 volts then it will remain in the same plus 5 volts till end it will remain in the same plus 5 volts because the current direction in this resistor is not varying in the similar way now let me assume another possible extreme that is let us assume v not equal to minus v sat or minus 5 volts now again you continue the same let us assume 0 volts here now i will get minus 2.5 volts here minus 2.5 volts now the input can be varied from plus 1 to minus 1 volts that is positive extreme and negative extreme still the current direction will be in this direction but it is not changing so the output will remain in the same minus 5 volts without changing so you can go with the option a constant of either plus 5 volts or minus 5 volts after looking at the question it is given as positive feedback circuit right so everyone will uh, go with this option that is a square wave of 5 volts amplitude but the correct answer is a constant of either plus 5 volts or minus 5 volts there is there is other way of solving this that is this circuit is called as non inverting smith trigger circuit the circuit is similar right which is given in the question but in a different way negative is given like this and the positive is given like this here input is connected so uh, this and that both are same so this is called as non inverting smith trigger condition sorry non inverting smith trigger circuit now there will be two cases if you initially assume let the output as positive that is plus v sat here the bias voltages are plus v sat and minus v sat now if you assume initially it as plus v sat then to change the output from plus v sat to minus v sat or to trigger from one plus v sat to minus v sat the uh, the necessary condition is v in should be less than minus r2 by r1 into v sat now if you go to the previous question r1 is given as 1k and r2 is also given as 1k you can look here in the gate question it is given as 1k 
and 1k here and V set is given as plus 5 volts and minus 5 volts. Now if you look here R2 by R1 that is minus 1k by 1k into 5. So the input should be less than input should be less than minus 5 volts to get from plus V set to minus V set. But our input is from plus 1 to minus 1. It is varying. So there is no possibility of changing its state from plus V set to minus V set. Now again if you look here okay if you assume initially it has minus V set that is minus 5 volts then to convert from minus V set to plus V set the necessary condition is the V in should be greater than R2 by R1 into V set that is 1k by 1k into 5 volts that is plus 5 but the input is varying from plus 1 to minus 1 so there is no possibility of changing from minus V set to plus V set if it is initially in minus V set so this is also a possible uh, approach you can call but I think inference is quite easy to solve this question now how how we got this condition means uh, you can solve this on your own and you can comment whether you obtained this or not you assume the, this as v1 this v1 will be approached here right this is v2 now we apply the simple KCL equation the incoming current equal to outgoing current because the current through the op amp is zero into the op amp is zero because it is given as idle so you can solve this and check for the conditions to change from one state to other state then you will finally end up with these two results hope you guys learned something new so this is my favorite question in gate 2020 regarding analog that's all for this video see you in the next one